There's a special documentary film screening this week to highlight the role of women during World War I. The documentary Hello Girls features rare 100-year-old film footage of America's first female soldiers. And joining us now uh, to talk more about this documentary, I'm so curious. Jody Grenier here, a Marine veteran and the executive director of the Foundation for Women Warriors. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. Thank What's you for having us. So incredible reading about it is I had not heard about this bit of history at all. You're not Give alone. Little, yeah. You're not alone. Uh, so the Hello Girls uh, were a part of the Army Signal Corps. Uh, during World War I, General Pershing needed women to be telephone operators and also be able to translate English and French real time so that both French and American sh soldiers could coordinate fire attacks. And so they sent a group of 226 women over there to do that job. So very important what they're doing. Yes. Uh, very, you know, troops thankful for, for, for the job that they're taking on, and yet uh, they finish, they come back home, and you say they don't really get a hero's welcome. No. So, 30, so they, they wore uniforms, they swore an oath to the Army, and then when they came home, uh, and actually two gave their life while over there, when they came home, no recognition. It took 60 years for them to be recognized as veterans and to even be uh, buried as veterans, and so now we're working on a congressional gold medal to get them the recognition that is due. Absolutely incredible, and of course the perfect timing with Women's History Month yes. as well. The footage, though, I guess plays into why we also have not heard about these women. How did you come about this footage? Yeah, so part of our mission at Foundation for Women Warriors is to really advocate and educate to the public about the huge contributions women have made since the inception of our country. And so, uh, you know, we came about this just like everyone else, uh, accidentally, as we were advocating for another group of women. Any particular challenges about trying to put this together, getting access to people and footage? You know, I think the challenge is just educating the public on the contributions of our women that have served. I think uh, once you do, you get to hear the feedback. Oh yeah, my grandmother, my great aunt. Uh, because women's service is so under-recognized, people just make the assumption that it's always been men. So the footage is 100 years old. How are, these, are any of these women still with us? Today, and no. we're, how, how is that documenting, how difficult was that? Yeah, so uh, none of the women are with us today, but there is footage, uh, you know, from their service uh, that can be seen within the documentary. Okay, and uh, talk a little bit about it, people, you know, if they don't catch it uh, coming up, what are other ways that people can see this. Yeah, so uh, the screening is online. It's March 6th uh, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. here local. And it's absolutely free. You can go to our website, foundationforwomenwarriors.org, uh, scroll down to our events and register, and please bring your family and friends along. Uh, you know, it'll be a wonderful showing. Uh, you'll learn something and hopefully uh, contact your representative to get them a congressional gold medal. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Absolutely incredible. I'm looking forward to watching it very much. Thank, thank you. you. And again, you can find that information on our website as well. If you weren't taking notes there, we'll have it up on our website. Thank you.